Hello everyone and welcome to NASCAR Heat 5 Career Mode. NASCAR season is here and so I thought it would be fun, I know it'll be fun, to do a career mode. I've been wanting to do this a long time, but I always thought it would be more fun to do a career mode in front of an audience rather than just by myself and so I brought it here to the channel and so far I'm having a good time practicing even the dirt racing. I want to get better at dirt racing and eye racing. I know this isn't the most accurate thing, but it could help a little bit and I, I'm just ready to have a fun long career mode and take you on this journey with me. Hopefully there's a lot of drama, but thanks for coming along. We are here at the late models, in the late models, and qualified 23rd, hoping to get 22nd, so basically have to hold our position. What's the storyline? Well, we are a sim racer who got noticed and happened to get a ride in a late model and now we're trying to prove that we deserve a full season ride let's shut down this music even though it's awesome and uh let's dive into it thanks for joining me here we go we are at dremen motor speedway stormy scott in the lead i i this is the 2023 month so i believe these are all real people which is awesome. And here we go, we're in the 66 C. Let's see what we can do in our first Ready. race. Green's out, man. Let's go. Green flag is out. We got Scott right, Bloomquist. We have to get past him to reach our goal. And I believe, isn't Scott Bloomquist a IndyCar driver? He's doing yeah. dirt now? I could be completely wrong. I want to really get into watching some IndyCar this year. So far, I've tried to watch every major race. I've watched part of the Rolex 24. I've watched uh, all the NASCAR races. And I have, uh, and I watched that one race. Struggling right now, though. We need to hold 24th. I'm getting way too much on the brakes. We probably shouldn't even be braking. So they say in eye racing when you race dirt, you want to keep the car as straight as possible. That may not apply here. And by the way, this is the beginning of career mode, so we aren't in a fully powered vehicle yet. But we really do want to hit our goal. In practice, I was running this bottom line and it seemed to work. So I'm going to keep trying to hold it. The car really doesn't like rotate unless you toss it. The rotating on gas doesn't work too well. But now that we've got some space on the bottom, we're making progress. We got 20, more left. 20 laps to go to keep making it up. You never know what craziness could happen, so it'd be nice to get a buffer into the top 20. A lot of the AI running high. Oh. Look at that, see if you give up the bottom, it's hard. I'm gonna try to get the bottom line back. Almost lost it there. Definitely don't wanna lose it. I mean, NASCAR Heat 5 isn't the perfect game, it's not the best NASCAR console game, but I, it's fun, man. They've uh, set up the AI to have pretty good close race, and I've been doing just some race now races for fun, and gotten some really good finishes. So far we're still good at our, our goal of 22, but I want way more of a buffer, so let's see if we can get some more positions here. Got three cars in front of us we could pass. Wow, Bloomquist is caught up. This is an Indy car guy, right? Let me know in the comments. Oh, we're getting shoved by a guy on the inside. Oh, we got lapped. Let's see if we can follow... Scott's line because he has the lead see what he's doing it's really sliding a lot really getting sideways he's going in really high arc and then taking it into the inside so let's try that oh I needed to get him more sideways than that I'm just trying to apply a short track racing skills here where we get 
into the corner and try to accelerate right as we hit the apex. We want to slow down enough to get past, and it seems to be working. So following the first place car strategy seems to be working. Ooh, I thought for a second we left the door too wide open. Now we're getting a little spread out, which is nice. I, hope, I, I think I'm content holding this 18th position. Really getting a big gap to the guys behind us. I think there's a relative in this game. There we go. We're getting lapped again. Have a second on Blumquist. Okay, I think we should be pretty solid with our goal. Following the leader's line really worked out for us. Which is awesome. Oh, cars got tight. I don't think there's tire wear in Lee's dirt. And I don't know if tire wear really matters. If you're a dirt fan, I would love to know more about dirt. I would, I've been trying to learn more about dirt racing. But, uh, just hard to watch because you gotta subscribe to Flow Racing and stuff. I'm not really trying to pay another subscription. But yeah, if you're knowledgeable on dirt, we'd love to know more. We'll take the relative off so we can see the lap count. Really solid in 18th, though we're getting lapped. Oh, this is lap 18th, but we are in 18th. Not paying attention. I think we just gotta hold our ground and we should be good for this first ever race for us. Very happy with this result in the late models. Man, I feel like it'd be really fun to do a dirt race in real life one day if I ever get the chance. That would be awesome. I guess it would be cool to even go watch a dirt race. My wife is um, from Eureka and they got a race track there, Redwood Acres. I believe it's asphalt, but I believe sometimes they throw some dirt on it. Maybe I gotta check out a race there with her. It is a far, far drive away. But it's cool that even in Northern California, they got some local short track racing. So, maybe we can even get 17. Oh, the set driver 76 runs high. Can we get one more spot? Maybe it'll get us a better contract for a full-time ride if we can catch a 76 car. It doesn't look like we'll be able to catch him, but very happy with this 18th spot. Oh, maybe we're catching him? Maybe not. Not bad though. 18th, way better than our goal. We will take that. And that was a really, really fun race. Thank you guys for joining me. And um, be sure to subscribe if you want to keep up and see the next episode. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys at the next one.